Hey YouTube, welcome to most amazing top 5, where I break down the world into brilliant top 5 lists. My name's Azzy, so sit back, subscribe, and let me entertain you. Also, don't forget to check me out on my personal Facebook, Azzyland. First off, I want to hear from you guys. What type of salary would you guys need to do one of the jobs on this list? Let me know down below. In spot number 5, we have a cat food quality tester. I'm sure if you have a cat, you want the best for it, and you want to make sure it's eating the most highest quality food. That is where cat food tester Testers come in. They basically have to plunge their face into a tub full of cat food. They put their arms inside the tub and grope around for bony bits. Lastly, they grab a clump of it and smear it on the flat surface and check how much gristle is in it. And you're telling me they're doing this every day for low pay? You gotta be kidding me right now. In spot number four, we have the manure inspector. You thought you had to put up with a lot of crap at work. Manure inspectors have you beat. They're required to inspect manure to make sure that their natural fertilizer is free from E. coli and other diseases before shipping it off. At least they don't have to put their arms into a tub of it like cat food tester guys. In spot number three, we have been a shark wrangler. Okay, so at first this doesn't sound so bad. You gotta work with these aquatic killing machines. Okay, wait, never mind. Sounds totally bad. These guys are hired to wrangle up sharks and lure them closer to tours on special tours so they can take pictures up close. What if someone gets eaten? How can you live with that? What if you get eaten? No, nope, no way, not doing it. Next up at two, we have gold farmers. It's not as lucrative as it sounds. Back in 2007, people in China were signing up to become gold farmers for the popular MMO World of Warcraft. These people would work 12 hour shifts in which they would amass virtual currency in the games. The gold they collected was then sold to real players across the world in exchange for real money. However, these farmers only got paid 30 cents an hour. I don't see what the problem is. At that rate, you can pay up your World of Warcraft subscription in 5 days and then you 20 other days to play. Sign me up. And finally, in the number one spot, we have the subway pusher. So we all know that Japan has some very crowded subways. So during peak hours when the trains fill to 200% over maximum capacity, subway pushers go around cramming people into the trains in order to make sure that the train doors can close. You obviously can't get on the good side of people by pushing them around all day. It might be a bad job for low pay, but at least you gotta push people around. Awesome guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know what salary you guys would take to do any of these jobs. Until next time, bye!